Physiology of Liver Introduction The biliary system includes the liver, the gallbladder, associated ducts. Along with pancreatic juice, the other secretory product emptied into the duodenal lumen is bile. Let's take a look at the liver functions. The liver is the largest and most important metabolic organ in the body. It can be viewed as the body's major biochemical factory. Its importance to the digestive system is its secretion of bile salts which aid fat digestion and absorption. The liver also performs a wide variety of functions not related to digestion, including the following. Metabolic processing of the major categories of nutrients, which are carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids after their absorption from the digestive tract. Detoxifying or degrading body wastes and hormones, as well as drugs and other foreign compounds. Synthesizing plasma proteins, including those needed for blood clotting, those that transport steroid and thyroid hormones, and cholesterol in the blood. An angiotensinogen important in the salt-conserving renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. Storing glycogen, fats, iron, copper, and many vitamins. Activating vitamin D, which the liver does in conjunction with the kidneys. Removing bacteria and worn-out red blood cells thanks to its resident macrophages. Secreting the hormones such as thrombopoietin, stimulates platelet production, hepcidin, inhibits iron uptake from the intestine, and insulin-like growth factor 1 stimulates growth, producing acute phase proteins important in inflammation. Excreting cholesterol and bilirubin, the latter being a breakdown product derived from the destruction of worn-out red blood cells. Given this wide range of complex functions, there is amazingly little specialization among cells within the liver. Each liver cell or hepatocyte performs the same wide variety of metabolic and secretory tasks. Hepato means liver, site means cell. The specialization comes from the highly developed organelles within each hepatocyte. The only liver function not accomplished by the hepatocytes is the phagocytic activity carried out by the resident macrophages, which are known as Kupfer cells. Liver Circulation To carry out these wide-ranging tasks, the anatomic organization of the liver permits each hepatocyte to be in direct contact with the blood from two sources, arterial blood coming from the aorta and venous blood coming directly from the digestive tract. Like other cells, hepatocytes receive fresh arterial blood via the hepatic artery, which supplies their oxygen and delivers blood-borne metabolites for hepatic processing. Venous blood also enters the liver by the hepatic portal system, a unique and complex vascular connection between the digestive tract and liver. The veins draining the digestive tract do not directly join the inferior vena cava. Instead, the veins from the stomach and intestine enter the hepatic portal vein, which carries the products absorbed from the digestive tract directly to the liver for processing, storage, or detoxification before they gain access to the general circulation. Within the liver, the portal vein once again breaks up into a capillary network, the liver sinusoids, to permit exchange between the blood and hepatocytes before draining into the hepatic vein, which joins the inferior vena cava. Liver lobules the liver is organized into functional units known as lobules, which are hexagonal arrangements of tissue surrounding a central vein. At each of the six outer corners of the lobule are three vessels, a branch of hepatic artery, a branch of hepatic portal vein, 
and a bile duct. Blood from the branches of both the hepatic artery and the portal vein flows from the periphery of the lobule into large, expanded capillary spaces called sinusoids, which run between rows of liver cells to the central vein like spokes on a bicycle wheel. The Kupfer cells line the sinusoids and engulf and destroy old red blood cells and bacteria that pass through in the blood. The hepatocytes are arranged between the sinusoids in plates two cell layers thick so that each lateral edge faces a sinusoidal pool of blood. The central veins of all the liver lobules converge to form the hepatic vein which carries the blood away from the liver. The thin, bile-carrying channel, a bile canaliculus, runs between the cells within each hepatic plate. Hepatocytes continuously secrete bile into these thin channels which carry the bile to a bile duct at the periphery of the lobule. The bile ducts from the various lobules converge to eventually form the common bile duct, which transports the bile from the liver to the duodenum. Each hepatocyte is in contact with a sinusoid on one side and a bile canaliculus on the other side.